The Psyche of Success is about defining who you are and who you want to be. Chapter 4, Poverty. Now, this chapter is really interesting to me because in this chapter, Jason learns about the neuropathways that actually create the life that you have. One of the things that is talked about in this book is that of all of the demons of fear, poverty is perhaps the greatest because it doesn't just give ideas to you, it actually creates generational or genetic hooks in your mind. It's creating neural pathways that are very, very difficult to get past. Think about this, a neural pathway within the mind is essentially like wearing down a trail on getting from point A to point B. You will find that people who grow up in poverty often generate poverty for themselves and for the next generation. It's not because they can't get out of the cycle, it's because based on the way that they're thinking, they can't get out of the cycle. Now let me explain that just a little bit and it's explained pretty clearly in the book. When we create this pattern of thought, what we're really saying is, I believe that having more money than X is a bad thing. In psychology, it's called a neuro set point. So that set point within your mind says, I am, and you fill in the blanks. Once you've accepted a different set point, then you start changing your blueprint pretty easily. T. Harv Eker in his book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, discusses the idea that within five minutes, he can tell you how much you're worth within about a 10% variance because he can understand what your set point is for wealth. Same thing is true here. As Jason learns about poverty, what he realizes is this demon of fear is so much stronger than the others because it creates a genetic pathway that's passed from one generation to the next. You will find that in order to get out of poverty, you have to create new thinking and new associations. That means you change your environment, you change your thought, and most importantly, you change your beliefs. Your beliefs create your thoughts, your thoughts create your actions, and your actions create your results. So I'm gonna read you just a little bit. I can see why poverty has stronger hooks than the others, said Jason. Poverty is literally a pathway that guides our thoughts. It's the path itself that is holding us back. So it's not the circumstances, but it's the path of thought that we stay on. I have seen people who grew up in poverty that when they had a lot of money, all of a sudden they just dumped it by giving it to other people or wasting it on things. You've seen the same thing when you watch people win the lottery who have never really had a lot of money. Typically within 12 months, they have the same amount or less than what they had when they won the millions. It's absolutely fascinating, but it's based on our neural pathway or our neural set point for what wealth we're supposed to have. So I want you to consider, what's your set point? You are who you are and where you are because you believe that's where you're supposed to be. Overcome the belief that's been holding you back and you go wherever you want to go. Figure out how to release those hooks and the answer is in the chapter. We'll see you on the next one. I'm Jody Holland with the Psyche of Success video blog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share it with your friends. Find me on Facebook. Look for Jody Holland Training and Speaking. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well, Jody N. Holland. Can't wait to see you on next week's episode.